Well, I think well, let, let's let's you know, the rest of the season is you know that's a you know, that's a, you know, that's, a you know, that's a that's a big question. I think you know I look at you know, I'll answer that first, and that's for all the starting pitchers. Make their starts, keep us in games, pitch innings, and give us a chance to win. I mean, that's the expectation, right? I mean, all starting pitchers across all the baseball. That's what's asked from their organization, their manager, their coaches, their teammates, right? Uh, as far as tonight, same thing. Well, it's going to make the start. So keep us in the game, pitch innings, give us a chance to win. Based on the type of game. Last night, John was hooked up in a pitching duel. And he and, he and Sonny Gray matched each other. John kept us in the game, gave us a chance to play. We don't know how tonight's game is going to go. That's why we're going to play. But I know that Kyle Freeland's expectation is, is to pitch well, and that is our expectation as well, because he's talented and he competes, and uh, we love that about him. I want to ask you a follow-up on the defense conversation from last night. Okay. Uh, sometimes I think the you know the Reds yesterday had a couple of plays they didn't make, didn't lead directly to runs. But right. when you feel you've been the tighter defensive team, even if it's not leading directly to runs, that in a you, game, yeah, in a game, you in feel like game. you're playing the better game. That gives you a right. confidence defensively that that might That's permeate right. to the rest of the team. Oh yeah, I think when uh, yeah when when you're pitching well and playing good defense in a particular game. And then the, the object is to do that every night, right? And that's the that's the goal. But in that game that you know that gives you you know, I think there's a there's a team energy aspect of that. Uh, even though last night it was a low scoring game and we weren't you know, we didn't really hit until late. Uh, but there was a there was an in game energy in those types of games, even though they're low scoring. Every game has its own unique feel to it. Every game. Uh, but when you play good defense, I think there's always a, an underlying confidence of your group. And I think the same thing when they're when you're when you're pitching well. There's an underlying confidence of your team. And when you're really killing the ball and scoring runs, that, that's also another thing that can bring you a great deal of confidence. To. So ideally, what you want is all three. And if you do all three from game one to 162, you're going to win a hell of a lot of games. What is it like to have a catcher like Tony Walters that isn't afraid to pull that pick off the third base in that situation? There, where you know they they have some momentum. You get a strikeout. You, strike you know, Tony plays. I mean, Tony plays for me with a great deal of freedom. And I think we talked about that as a group. Uh, you know, I want our guys to play free and not tentative. You know, in, in Tony's game as a catcher, part of that is throw. Back picks, uh, whether first or third or second, you know, being aggressive on balls out front of play, blocking aggressively. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, he plays with freedom, and I, I like that. We all like that. That's how we coach. Is that called or just? That's is instinctive. That and I think, you know, I mean, he and Nolan had to, I mean, Nolan had to know it was coming. So was it called yet? Reds, be ready for a back pick at third if you get too big of a secondary. <laughs> With Pat getting sent down in the corresponding mood for Kyle, anything specifically you hope he gets out of that experience? Pat? Yeah. I think with Pat, you know, Pat's been a part of us for, you know, three years now. I think, you know, any any time you come to the big leagues and play, it's an experience. You know, Pat had such a big 17, uh, you know, that we thought and Pat thought and everyone thought this was just going to continue. But, you know, a lot of times guys' career paths uh, divert. But, you know, I, I, I told Pat today that I, I, and I've said it often to him, that I think he's going to be a, a, a big leader for a long time. Sometimes it takes... It takes a while to just really, you know, find your niche, find your role, uh, and obviously there's a performance aspect to that too. And uh, you know, he's been a little bit off uh, this year, but I suspect that Pat, because of who he is as a player, who he is as a guy, that uh, eventually he's going to be just fine. The situation didn't call for a lot of opportunity for him in this 
recently, but he hit that big home run. Did you see better swings from him overall? Uh, I thought, yeah, there, I thought there was a better approach when he came back from here. Off the bench, it's a tough roll. We've talked about it very tough. But I thought there were better swings, better at bats. Yes. Any updates on Brendan Rodgers when we might see him in action again? Uh, no updates. No. Uh, Wish I could be more. Buddy, tomorrow Charlie Blackman is giving away his, uh, his bobblehead. Why don't you take a look at it? <coughs> Give me a reaction. Well, he just broke his bat. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Does that fit in your life? Yeah, it falls off. Right. Uh, well, let me look at this thing. Uh, well, my initial, my initial impression. Uh, If I were to design it, I think I'd have the hair a little bit longer. Okay. Right. But the beard looks good. I like the eye black. Uh, does have green eyes. It does have green. I don't have my glasses. The stance sort of similar, right? With a little bit of the knock knee a little bit. Yeah. Check this out. Now, that is a nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, I'm not a bobblehead collector, per se, but I like this one. I think this is solid. I think the, the Rocky Faithful are going to be very happy with this one. Especially with that nice little light of touch yep. of the outfield. Good job.